You send your kids off to school, but do you ever think just how clean their cafeteria really is? I've looked through inspection reports for every county in the area and discovered some schools are not making the grade. In a special Dirty Dining I-Team investigation, we found violations that include a stop sale on food at dangerous temperatures, no hot water, even roaches and ants in the kitchen. Wow, it's, it's kind of shocking. I'm going to have to start bringing my own food. That's really disgusting, and we think they can do better than that. Over the last couple of years, of all the counties I looked at, Hillsborough County, the largest school district in the area, had more unsatisfactory health inspections than any other district, with 17 schools failing at least one food inspection report. Ideally, 100% of our schools would be perfect, but we're human beings, we know that. Um, we just have to address issues as they come up. Ironically, two of the worst offenders in Hillsborough County include two culinary art schools where they teach food safety. George M. Steinbrenner High Culinary Arts on West Lutz Lake Fern Road in Tampa received three unsatisfactory scores over the last two years, compared to Steinbrenner's main cafeteria, which passed every inspection over that same period. This past January, Steinbrenner's culinary school failed from food not date marked or labeled, chemicals stored with food, unsanitary equipment, and food stored on the floor. We bake cookies most of the time, which we sell in bags, and those are distributed. Rachel Cole is a culinary student, but from another culinary school in Hillsborough County with unsatisfactory inspection scores. Mostly we do banquets for the teachers where they can come in and we serve them or um, different programs will serve them meals. So yeah, we do cook a lot for the school. Rachel attends King High School's Culinary Arts Facility located inside King High on North 56th Street in Tampa. While the main cafeteria passed its inspections, the culinary arts kitchen received two unsatisfactory grades. During two inspections in May of last year, the Hillsborough County Health Department discovered evidence of roaches in the kitchen, food not labeled or date marked, dirty floors, and other critical issues. Rachel admits her instructor focuses on sanitation issues but might be overwhelmed. So you feel like they teach you quite a bit to, to do the right thing? They do, but I mean, there's only one teacher and so many kids, so it's probably hard to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to. But it wasn't only public schools not passing with food inspectors. Some private schools didn't make the grade either. Polk County had four schools with unsatisfactory scores in the last year, and two private schools were the worst offenders on that list. Here at Resurrection Catholic School on Old 37 Highway in Lakeland, parents spend anywhere from $4,000 to $6,000 per child per year. But they may not know that they're paying for unsatisfactory conditions in the kitchen. The Polk County Health Department issued an unsatisfactory grade to the school in January after a live roach was seen crawling in the kitchen and there was no hot water in the restrooms. The other private Polk school inspectors didn't pass. St. Anthony's Catholic Church and School and Parish on Markham Road in Lakeland. It received two unsatisfactory grades in December and January for employees not monitoring food temperatures and issues with hand washing and the use of sanitizers. But students and parents we spoke to say all kitchens in all schools should be clean and safe for all kids. I hope they take the proper steps to get that taken care of because, you know, the kids do eat that food and that's just kind of unacceptable. I hope they fix that because it's not sanitary, it's not good for people's health, and some get sick. And coming up tomorrow night, a Bay Area restaurant is written up by inspectors after they discovered more than 300 roaches in the place over the last year. Discover how the restaurant responded. That's tomorrow night at 11. Well, tonight at